So the first thing that I do when I take a look at a 3D image uh, and I want to see if we can improve it is to have a look at the display format so I can bring up the 2D image. So I'm going to click here to get my four screens up uh, and I can see straight away that this first image which is where the um, 2D image would have been taken from it doesn't really look like um, a profile of the baby. I can see that maybe that's the forehead there and it looks like we might have something in the way just up here. Um, also we don't really have any fluid in between the baby's face if this is the baby's face and anything that's around it. Um, on the x-axis over here we can see that um, maybe we've got a little bit more room so we'll see if we can manipulate this image. The other thing I notice is that we've got a lot of space down here um, and hardly any space to move up the top. So in this particular case it might have been better if the ROI box was positioned a little higher to begin with to give us some more room to move um, and perhaps not so low so that it's not taking too much extra data that we're not going to use down here because there's no, um, there's no echoes down here, it's all just shadow so it's not usable for us so really everything from here um, right the way up is, is not really usable. So the first thing that I might try and do is just go to the A image and just rotate using this knob just to see if I can move around and see if we get any kind of appearance of a baby face or a profile. Just slide this down a little bit. And we'll just keep rotating. Okay, so sometimes that helps, but in this case we're really not getting anything better than what we had originally, which was back to about this, this position here. I can see from the 3D image that we can see something. Um, so let's see if we can improve it from where we are. So let's go back to the 3D. Um, first couple of things I usually look at as well when I'm looking at optimizing the parameters is the threshold. So usually the threshold should be somewhere around 100. Um, so I'm going to just increase it a little bit there. And I'll increase, de try increasing and decreasing the gain. Uh, and I'll also just bring up the transparency because that looks a little bit low as well. So we'll have that up around 200. Increasing the threshold didn't work in this case. So I'm going to take it back down to where it was. Um, I'm also going to try and just move this picture around. I mean really I think it's probably about as good as it's going to get. Because what it looks like to me is that baby's nose, you can see how flat baby's nose is, it looks like it's squished up against something there if we were going to take any more off this picture, it, it, probably up here it would have been the placenta or something anyway, um, you know, and on this side we can we can see that there's a little bit of room but but not much, so, so really I don't think we're going to get much more out of this particular image, you might get something by dragging it around, but it's not really going to look like something that people are going to want to see, and on this side of the face of course we can see that whatever it was that was in front of baby's face here, maybe the umbilical cord by the look of it or something else similar, it's really touching baby's face, it's right up against it so it would have been difficult to get a 3D out of this particular image here. I mean you can you can try adjusting things just moving around with the, the gain. Uh, let's go back to 3D and just see what happens if I click on the B image and see if we can manipulate this part of the image. No, that's, that's pretty much baby's face pushed right up against the... Oh, you can kind of just make out a nose there at the front. It's a bit too bright. Let's take that down. But I think the main thing in this case was that there's just too much... Uh, not enough room to move in front of... Not enough room to move here, right up the top, baby's face pushed up, probably against some things 
um, inside mum, but also um, right at the edge of the ROI box, so really nowhere for us to move there. That's maybe a little bit of an improvement, and we could maybe use Magic Cut to get some things out of it, but I think there's probably better opportunities to get uh, a better 2D image in this case. Okay, let's take a look at another image from this series. Let's see if we can find it. Here it is. So this is another image that we've got to look at. Uh, same thing again, we go straight to the four screen so we can have a look at what the 2D image is. In this case, it's a much more promising 2D image. A couple of things I noticed straight away. Um, number one is this is quite dark, so that means that the gain probably needs to be increased. Um, number two, we've got a little bit of a, um, I don't know if that's artifact or if it's actually, you know, part of something else, but it's, um, it's going to be in the way of baby's face, but we can get rid of that by adjusting the ROI lines. Um, the other thing I notice here is these wavy lines. Um, that usually indicates that baby moved during some point of the um, 3D acquisition. So sometimes that means we'll get, and maybe that's what this line is here as well, but um, that usually means that somewhere baby's face will be distorted, so it usually doesn't look great. Uh, if baby's moving around a lot and you need a quicker 3D acquisition, you can either make a smaller ROI box or you can change the quality from high, which it is up here, um, and change that quality um, to a, you know, a mid or a low quality. All right, so um, let's start with the basics, looking at the threshold. Um, first of all, just the gain, because like I said, that was a bit dark. The yellow sh usually looks a little bit more like what we've got here and I'll increase the threshold to get rid of some of that noise around baby. Okay. And I'll just um, I'll just experiment with the two. See if we can improve that. And the next thing I'll do is I'll click on the A image, which is this first one up the top here, this one here and I will just see if we can rotate it a little bit to get a better get a better angle and what I'm really looking for is is there any space where there's you know a clear gap between baby's face and everything else that we can then adjust the cut lines appropriately I'm just rotating around. It looks like probably where we started was the best. Round about here. And let's just see if we can adjust the lines. Looks like I just pulled one of the lines too far down, so I'm just going to hit rotate reset. Looks like I'm going to have to start again really quickly. That's fine, we'll just do a quick one, adjust it. Increase that threshold, increase the gain a little bit. And then I'm going to rotate it. Let's save a bit of time and we'll use the touch screen. So I get the feeling that this gap in baby's head may have something to do with where the baby moved in here during the 3D acquisition. And you can see the way that the smile 
and that the eye is distorted on this side would have been from movement um, movement during the acquisition so you'll get an okay um, 3d picture for some features for this but some things are going to look a little bit funny like they do here at the moment and then for everything else i would probably use uh, magic cut to try and get some of the um get rid of some of this stuff around baby